Stuff, you have to keep together and yeah, flexibility and strength. So we don't have to hold our breath, so we've got it easier probably. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. I can't, I actually can't swim, so <laughs> <laughs> it'll be for us quite impossible. <laughs> So there's a solo when you do by yourself, there's a duet which is two of you, there's a team with usually eight but you can do it a minimum as four and there's also a new thing called a combo routine and that's um, up to ten swimmers and it's a mixture of team, duet and solo so it's a really cool thing to do. I just do it on my own and it's a bit easier because you don't get jumbled up with other people at different times. I don't really like holding my breath because Kind of hard. We normally hold our breath about probably 20 seconds on average for a bigger in a routine. But we always do breath control training, so we'll swim underwater lengths. This is a nose clip. Um, we put it on our noses so that when we go upside down in the water, we don't get water up our noses. Well, treading water is basically, we don't call it treading water, we call it egg beater. It's pretty much to keep your posture straight and it gives a lot of effect. And you get quite high marks if you're able to get quite high. Synchronised swimming because it's exciting, it's creative, there's always something new to learn. I love it because it's fun, it's cool and it's my favourite sport. I love synchro because it's challenging, it's creative and fun. I can meet so many different people, it's a lot of fun, it can be a lot of hard work at the same time but it's really different to what other people do, so I really love it because it's different. 